call the meeting together or the public hearing on the FY 2024 25 budget for Lowndes County. Um, Ms. Black, I think you're going to make this presentation for us, ma'am. Um, yes, sir. I have a short presentation on the budget just to, to recap everything for you. You also have a package in front of you um, that has the information um, for every department, as well as in the front, there's a summary of personnel. Um, every, every time we have this budget presentation, I always start out with the organization chart, and these are all of the things that the, the county is responsible for funding, but the ones in the center um, are the ones that fall directly under the direction of the board commissioners. Um, just to recap of our millage, um, the dark gray bar is the amount that comes to, um, to the county for operations and you know, that has ticked down um, the last several years. Um, but still, um, a lot of, a, not a lot of changes in the, um, in the last several years. Um, budget comparison by fund, the general fund is up about 2.26%, um, a million, about a million and a half dollars, um, or two and a half million, sorry, um, or one and a half, sorry. Um, special revenue funds commissary, um, virtually no change in that, there was a little bit of a shift. Um, law library, no change, accommodation excise tax, those um, funds are coming in um, much higher than the 700000 and are tracking towards a million, so we did increase that. Whatever that comes in is how that gets dispersed. Um, virtually no change in the intergovernmental grants. Um, jail operations, there is a slight decrease in there. Um, what you'll see um, later is fine revenues are down all around, so there were some shifts there. Um, move that up to commissary fund. Um, drug abuse treatment. Um, again, that's one of those fine-driven um, funds, and um, that is um, the expenditures were changed so that those accountability reports are the only things funded out of there currently. Um, emergency communications, um, there's an increase there, um, just some of the staffing and also um, just the cost of some of the, the contracts. Um, victim witness, this is another one of those um, fine-based accounts uh, or funds, and this is one that um, supports the solicitor and the district attorney. Um, and that one is um, getting close to capacity. Special services funds, that's down 1.31%. Um, fire services up 10.75%, just the cost of the um, personnel and as, as well as some of the equipment um, and the contracts that they have there for some of the maintenance and service. Under your capital projects fund, um, that is based on sales tax growth for SPLOST 8 and T-SPLOST. Um, really no change, um, or virtually no change in the LMIG. Um, enterprise funds, water sewer, up about 6%. Again, this is one that has um, the cost on contracts and their supplies and chemicals um, just continues to increase, especially with that, um, the service areas um, increasing. Um, landfill, really no change in that. Tax lighting districts, as we add more um, tax lighting districts to that fund and the cost of electricity, increases um, that has a, a, an increase in there. Inspections and permitting, um, this was the first year of operation um, and so we have a little bit better idea of what we need. So there was a um, position that was included in the current year budget that um, we determined that we don't need at this time so that, that was a decrease in that. Um, but it will probably take about three years before we know have a really good baseline for what that fund um, is going to uh, run. The same thing with Quiet Pines Golf Course. There's really no change in the budget, um, but it'll take probably three years before we have a good baseline on that. Internal service funds, equipment maintenance, um, <coughs> just an increase in that based on some of the age of our fleet and also um, just the cost of fuel and things like that. Um, a little bit of increase in health and 
insurance and workers' compensation, and that is just based off of the, um, the experience rates on those. Technology, basically no change in that. Overall, our funds are up about 5.04%. Looking at the general fund, um, taxes are up 3%. Um, there's basically no increase that we're anticipating with property tax. The increase that you've had there is due to um, the TABT and sales tax. A um, little bit of an increase in licensing and permits. Um, intergovernmental, really no change, charges for service, that's just based on um, things that are going on and the, the amount, um, culverts and things like that. Fines and forfeitures, um, again, like I said earlier, fines seem to be down all around. They're down about 13%. Miscellaneous, um, the, big, excuse me, the big driver there is our interest income, which has increased significantly over the last um, year or two. Um, so your total revenues are up 3.81%. On the expenditure side, general government down 2.35%. Um, judicial is up 4.5%. There's a couple of provisions in there. Public safety is up 8.4%. Um, there is some contracts uh, and some additional personnel. Public works is down um, almost 12%. There's some debt service that will be paid, that's paid off in the current year that came out of there. Um, health and welfare. Um, some of those shifts that we made in some of the other funds um, are the increase there, but it's not a significant increase. Um, culture and recreation, no change, and housing and development is just down slightly. Total expenditures are up 1.96%. Um, once you make the transfers, which there is an increased transfer to 911, the general fund is in balance. Um, again, just the highlights, the budget is based on no growth in property tax. Um, again, the five revenues are declining in every fund. Um, sales tax, the TABT, and the interest revenue remain strong. Um, the vacancy rate um, is still high, but it is improving from last year. Um, there were some new positions added to address the needs. There's a COLA and a merit included. Um, a reduction in general fund expenditures again this year for dirt road maintenance per the SDS agreement. Um, the ABM project, um, we anticipate that water sewer project going live um, within the next year or so, um, but we're also starting to see a lot of the energy savings from that as well. And then again, we have that retirement of debt service for the judicial complex. If you look at the general fund expenditures and Red. Um, those are last year's, just as a comparison. Taxes make up 85.21% of all revenues. That's down from 85.96%. If you break that down, um, property tax is 57.87% of that tax revenue. Uh, that's down from 61.26%. Um, the TABT is up to 9.96%, and the local option sales tax is up to 30.74%. On the expenditure side, you'll see the general government at 18.55%. It was 20.7% last year. Um, not really a big change in judicial public safety. It's up to 41.51% from 38.45%. Um, but public works is down to 12.4%. If you look at where your dollars go, um, comparison from 2024 to the post 2025 budget, and you'll see where those, most of those remain the same. There was just a few little shifts. Questions or comments?
hearing none, then we'll close the public hearing portion of the budget meeting on the FY2425 Any comments? Good. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, Steph. <laughs> Good presentation. That's all. Is it expecting a lift? That's right. <laughs>